Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It is January 24th and we are back with the fourth week of the year. Um, what's up Wednesday? So I am, I guess your host, Brittany McAllister. I'm here in Omaha, Nebraska. And today we are going to chat about a lot of things. So first up is our real estate market update. So every week I look at homes, single family homes that are for sale in Douglas and Sarpy counties. And we chat about the numbers with the number of active listings that are not new construction, the number of active listings that are new construction, and the number of homes that went under contract in the last seven days. And we compare that week over week and we look at really what's going on in the market in real time. So this week there are 457 active for sale single family homes in Douglas and Sarpy counties. That does not include new construction. So 457, last week there were 478. So we actually have less homes on the market this week than last week. And then 187 completed new construction homes in addition to that 457, which is also less than last week. So there's a total right now of 645 active single family homes for sale. Um, in Douglas and Sarpy counties, which is about 4.8% less houses than this time last week. And so I think that's super interesting when we talk about inventory already being low. Um, we're still seeing that continue <laughs> to go down. Um, 156 homes went under contract in the last seven days, which was more homes than the previous week. And I think that's super interesting because it means that the market is still moving. There are buyers that are out here that are excited and active and pre-approved and looking for houses. And that also tells me that if you are a seller and you are priced correctly and you are on the market, you should not be on the market long because things are still moving. So all good things on the market update this week. Um, up next, I want to chat about our event that we have coming up. So we've got our, what did we say, fourth annual, we think? Our fourth annual putt-putt event is happening next month. Um, if you are a past client of ours, you've probably received a whole bunch of emails. You've gotten a letter um, or in our newsletter. You had that on there. Um, did we do postcards? We got a postcard about it. So all kinds of information about our Putt-Putt event because we love this event. It is so fun. One of the biggest reasons we like it is it's also a diaper drive. And so this event is free to our clients. We just ask that you bring diapers to donate and we will donate those to charity. Um, and if you want to bring size three diapers for Morgan, you're more than welcome. I'm kidding. Um, so all of those things are happening next month and we're really excited about it. So if you have not yet RSVP'd, that's totally fine. But if you have no idea what I'm talking about, reach out to me. Um, either send us a message, an email, whatever, to get a hold of us to chat about details for that event. The next thing I want to chat about is these shirts. So... Hold on. Um, Liv and I have an exciting announcement. So I don't, if you know me and you've worked with me, you know that I'm a pretty casual slash comfy type of person. I'm probably not going to be the real estate agent that shows up wearing heels and that's just not who I am. So what I like to wear are things that are comfy and um, yeah, that are me. And so we have... These cute shirts, this one says, obviously, ask me about real estate. We've got this one that says realtor. Did we, do we have other designs? So right now, these are our two designs that we have, um, but we do have um, some other shirts in the works. So both of these, you can put this, these, the wording of these on different colors of shirts. Um, we've got short sleeve, we have long sleeve, we have crew necks. We also are taking requests. So if you have something that you're like, oh my gosh, I think this would be so cute on a shirt and I would wear it all the time, let us know and we can make it. We have an Etsy account that is getting set up right now. So I'll put the link somewhere and you can buy a cute shirt for yourself. Um, obviously these are for, for real estate agents because uh, I know you guys are watching these videos. And if you're clients of ours, you don't necessarily want a real estate shirt, um, but you maybe want something that says Arrow Real Estate Group, or you have an idea of something else that we could get for you or make for you, let us know. Okay, last up we have, um, I forgot, we have no dumb questions. 
So I've got two no dumb questions for you today. Number one, I had a client just last weekend ask me, or say to me rather, hey, I've heard prices are coming down soon, so should I wait to buy a house? And I guess if you started at the beginning of this video and you listened to the market update, I mean, I if I had a crystal ball and I could say, hey, here's what's gonna happen to the houses, they're gonna go up, they're gonna go down. If I knew all the things, I would probably sell a lot more houses. And yet, if we base what we know on the market currently, inventory is continuing to go down, which means prices are not going to come down for the most part. Of course, it depends on the price point, depends on the location, but overall, it's really just a basic supply and demand. So if there's less houses because and interest rates have come down, that means there's gonna be more buyers. So less houses, more buyers means the prices are gonna be driven up, just like it was in the last few years with multiple offers, which by the way, we're still seeing um, in certain price points. Um, so are prices going to come down or even out or you know what have you? It really just depends on the inventory. And so I would say keep watching each week. We're gonna continue to track the inventory and see how many houses are for sale. But in the short term right now, are prices going to come down? To me, I would say no, they're not. Um, and our second question, second no dumb question is, why do I need a buyer's agent? And I think that's a great question, um, especially in the world of Zillow and Realtor.com where you can go and find the house yourself and click reach out to the listing agent. Um, I, for me, I would say, A, you don't have to have buyer representation. Obviously, that's a choice. Uh, the way that I look at it is if I was going to court, I would not choose and I was on the defense defense, defense, <laughs> if I was on, if I was being prosecuted for something, I would not choose the opposing attorney to represent me. I would get my own attorney to represent me. And that's really how I look at buying and selling a house. If you're choosing to let the listing agent represent you, that person's fiduciary responsibility, even if in the state of Nebraska, as a listing agent, we can represent both parties. But the way I look at it is really that that agent's fiduciary responsibility started with the listing agent. It just it's a natural kind of human experience, I would say, to that they're going to be fighting for that party. They're not really going to fight on your behalf um, because why would they? they? Their first responsibility lies with the seller. And so there's really not a lot of negotiating power, I would say, by going directly to the listing agent. Um, because those typically the commission conversation and all of that has been uh, negotiated ahead of time with the seller. So there was, there'd be that. And then B just having, so not only having your own agent to represent you and walk you through the process, um, there's a lot of things that get negotiated throughout the transaction, not just the initial list price or contract price rather. So, you know, there's home inspections and there's negotiations that go on there. There's a unless you're buying with cash, there's likely going to be a home appraisal and there could be negotiations that go on with that. And then, you know, if you're looking to sell your home and buy another home, or even if you're going from renting to buying, there's a timeline involved there. And maybe it makes sense that you would like to move stuff into the garage before. And that's a negotiation that can take place. And so there's just a lot of things that need to be negotiated. And it makes sense when you have your own person fighting for you. So why do you need a buyer's agent? Because it's important to have someone on your side. Um, so that's all of the announcements I had for What's Up Wednesday. So keep the questions coming in. I love answering them. Um, there truly are no dumb questions in real estate. And if you want a shirt, reach out, come to our Putt Putt event, and we'll be back next Wednesday with a new market update.